Yeah, so if you've, if you've uh, had repetitive injuries to your knee or you've, you've lived with pain for some time, there are many different uh, reasons why that can occur. And it's not the sort of thing you should sit on. So again, you need to go and see a knee specialist. You need to see someone who's interested in joint preservation. Ideally, you need to be seeing someone that can offer the full, um, uh, uh, the full gambit of different procedures such as uh, realignment osteotomy because many surgeons who, who do knee surgery will you know, they'd be happy to sort of tidy things up, but they're not actually that well trained in complex meniscal repair surgery. I mean, a very common scenario is somebody injures their knee when they're young, they have an ACL reconstruction, they have some damage, and they go and they're very active, and age 40 to 50, they present with pain on the inside of their knee. This is really common, um, and they've got a bit of wear and tear in inverted commas. Keyhole surgery can sometimes help that, but it needs to be a specific uh, problem that you're trying to address with the keyhole surgery. Um, if there is established joint surface damage, shock absorber damage, and, you're, and, so, and as I say, most common it's on the inside of the knee, that's what we treat 80% of the time. Um, if your leg is, is slightly or very bowed, then an operation that can really sort that out is a realignment osteotomy. And what that is, is uh, first of all, a proper assessment, long leg x-rays. Um, that's an x-ray from your hip down to your ankle. We look at the normal side and we look at the uh, abnormal side, the painful side, and see where the weight bearing line goes from the hip down to the ankle. And in a bowed leg, it'll be more on the inside. In a very bowed leg, it might miss completely the shin bone. And in a straight leg, it'll be straight down the middle. In a knock knee, it'll be on the outer compartment and we can actually move that weight-bearing line and take pressure off the damaged side in a bow leg person, the outer lateral side in a knock-kneed person, and that is a very good intervention should you need it.